Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on the Democratic debate slash coronavirus lecture. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And if you black and you still believe in the political process in any manner, you should be ashamed of yourself. Not only am I ashamed of your motherfucking ass, you should be ashamed of yourself because you're participating in a public fucking scam, goddammit. We in 2020 and these people People still have successful voter suppression efforts after you done begged and pleaded, had dogs sicked on you and all kind of bullshit. These people still able to manipulate the vote. And on top of that, no matter what anybody do, no matter what new programs come out, no matter who have new ideas, it's always a fucking Democrat and a Republican in the end, y'all. That's like the NFL and the NBA having 32, 52, however many teams in the same two teams always make it to the motherfucking end god damn it you still actually believe in this process but what the news media always tell your black person oh you the base of the party and shit we need you we love you every fucking four years when they didn't even come they didn't come up on any of the programs you know how they say every four years we gonna give you this business loan money we gonna give you this the school's gonna get better and the next four years they come back and they ain't shit popping they ain't done a motherfucking thing just like Elizabeth Warren said year after year after year they come back bullshitting black people but remember what I said the basis of this video is you the black voter and you they motherfucking base but guess what soon as the goddamn debate came on what they talked about for over 30 minutes really if you chop in the whole debate every time the word fucking coronavirus was used it had to be over two fucking hours bruh it was a three hour long debate and I watched it plenty of times, but they took the first 30 minutes, y'all, talking about the coronavirus. You are witnessing a rebel network. Now, y'all know one motherfucking thing. Americans have a short attention span, goddammit. So within them first 30 minutes, they were scared to death listening to some fucking coronavirus propaganda. And I already done the video for those of you who don't know. Coronavirus ain't nothing but swine flu, bird flu, Spanish flu, and every other fucking disease they came up with. Influenza, Nazi, Germany, ass shit. Man, get the fuck out of here, y'all. Pay attention to that. And by the way, yeah, I still have a toothache because turns out my motherfucking dentist ain't coming back to April because this nigga apparently have the coronavirus. Ain't that a bitch around here? So yeah, I got a toothache and shit right now, but I took some medicine, so it's cool. But like I told y'all, 30 minutes they spent on the fucking coronavirus. Then what did, then what did they hop to? Their favorite subject. Medicare for all. I'm tired of hearing about that bullshit. And really, when it comes to Biden, he just gonna keep the same little bullshit that uh that uh Obamacare that shit. That way, the uh billionaire businesses still get their money around here. And everybody who own Obamacare, you keep getting that cheap ass medicine that could barely help you instead of penicillin and amoxicillin. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. They ain't like the government gonna get your top shelf, so they up there arguing about that. Biden still talking about. Well, how you gonna pay for this, goddamn it, and shit like that? When they already know all it take is a a one dollar tax on the top ten percent, and they could pay for all of that bullshit. You understand what they could do with one dollar? But he said, how they gonna pay for this? Because they still rather the taxpayer pay for it. That's what the fuck they arguing about. And it's crazy as fuck that people are still choosing Biden just because he was walking with Obama. And y'all know who voting for Biden? Um, goddamn Biden. It's older black people just because they saw him standing next to Obama. Did they not fucking remember that this dude was against busing? And that's when y'all ass was lil, goddammit. it. Back when you was a fucking kid, you should know better. Biden was against you all in the newspaper talking about he know what's best for the Negro in the motherfucking paper but y'all up there you're worried about social security cuts you ain't worrying about the motherfucking future god damn it we want our fucking comeuppance around this motherfucking the reparations god damn it then what they got to because as y'all can see if you pay close attention what that say in the back 
This shit was sponsored by Univision. You are witnessing a rebel network, so guess what a lot of questions was geared towards? Latinos and immigrants who ain't even came here to become a citizen yet. Yet your black ass sitting there watching a motherfucking debate. You already a legal citizen. They talking about motherfuckers who ain't even come here illegally yet, goddamn it. If they should get health care, ain't that a son of a bitch? They ain't even come here illegally yet. And you talking about all the shit they should be able to get god damn it and the ones who already here y'all trying to appeal to them but they on trump's side not only was they with white women who voted him in god damn it it was the latinos who said build that motherfucking wall we don't want no more of them serenios or nortenos coming through god damn it we the good ones we done made our way through and it's good we done got our banks we done fucked up y'all banking system because y'all gave us them loans but y'all bailed them out and it's cool now y'all understand what the fuck going on here God damn it, but they took a lot of time out of the goddamn three out of three hour debate to talk about them but guess what that's not where it stopped at this is BTN you witnessing a rebel network what else did they talk about climate change see remember y'all the thesis of this video is you the base but they ain't talk about you yet and I'm going in a motherfucking road they talked about climate oh man we gotta stop fracking Joe and you was with them niggas Joe Biden you you signed that law well well Bernie I don't care about that well I, I admit I made a mistake and all kind of bullshit but they spent a whole lot of time talking about fucking climate change not your human goddamn life and think about it when they talk about that climate change shit that be all the fucked up shit that they doing goddamn it like sitting up there putting the worst fucking uh the worst water in the uh surrounding cities the urban areas as they call it in our areas we get the most fucked up polluted water and shit building factories next to us a fucking campbell soup factory you fucking breeding and all that fucked up ass us that get the brunt of it goddamn it but we want you to come up off the reparation so we could build a better fucking foundation for our sons and daughters goddamn it we'll move from around this bitch since y'all want poison the water and shit shout out to flint and what else did they talk about the iraq vote the fucking iraq vote y'all they still on that shit because biden voted for the you know the water pop off yet y'all still voting for him for some reason He's simply Republican light. It's going to be Republican Donald Trump, neo-Nazi Republican versus Republican light Joe Biden. But Sanders still saying, man, you voted for that shit. You know, and me, that shit was tough, but I voted against that war. <clears throat> give a fuck about that wall goddamn it get the fuck from out of here and matter of fact when it come to the military y'all already know that <clears throat> I joined up based on propaganda thinking I was a fucking American and shit and was like they attacked us nigga you know a young fucking kid so that lets y'all know how serious I take this BTN shit god damn it I ain't gonna even say what I was about to say about this motherfucker but think about that y'all I'm not playing when it come to this bullshit bro I served god damn it and what he said bro it was an unpopular vote but I voted to stop that wall around this motherfucker you know so that was cool of Bernie Sanders but guess what you're not for reparations and whenever they show the military they don't show black military members especially not at the rate that they show other ethnicities god damn it think about it when you watch Fox F Fox N NFL Sunday how many white people to fucking black people do you see and when I was in the motherfucker is a whole ton of us on the front line infantry fighting that motherfucking wall god damn it get the fuck out of here but guess what it don't stop there because I, like I said you the base and they talked about everything but your black ass cause now they went to talking about the goddamn bank bailouts the fucking banks talking about oh if them banks would have failed so many american people that's called business god damn it when that bank fell another bank will be built around this motherfucker hopefully it's a black owned bank god damn it businesses are supposed to fail are they not supposed to get too fucking big to fail what kind of bullshit is that get the fuck out of here but they bailed them out remember they pulled billions out their ass god damn it but when it come to your black ass i ain't man what money you know 
And some of y'all still out here, you believe in voting, marching with these people. Them people don't give a fuck about you. You be with the cancer women and everybody else, whatever cause, but they never with you, goddammit, when they killing your sons, daughters, uncles, mothers, because they killing black women too. Don't think I'm just talking about the men. They killing women too, goddammit. Go look that up. Atashiana Jefferson, goddammit. Y'all know who she is and more. Every fucking day, but you out here believing in a system where only a Democrat or a Republican has ever won. No other group has uh, emerged since the fucking beginning of this political process. You don't find that bullshit fishy? No other shit? Except what, aristocratic? Man, man, get the fuck out of here, goddammit. Democrat. And then they have some, uh, what, Green Party? Man, them people be a fucking joke. Get out of here. Get out of here. But guess what? Guess what else they said? Biden laid up there and said, the American people don't want a revolution. They don't want a revolution. He said they don't want a revolution because in the meantime, while they having a revolution, everything just is going to be haywire and all messed up. You hear that bullshit? We want mass fucking change. And you see what Biden, you know what Biden really saying right there? He supports old establishment. He is the old politician of yesteryear around this motherfucker. He still think them dumbass fucking talking points is going to get the youth out the vote and Bernie as well. Because both of y'all using the same old bullshit, except you over there talking about free Medicare. A uh, note to you, we don't give a fuck about free Medicare. First of all, black people, most of us ain't gonna never pay that bullshit, to be honest with you. Don't give a fuck about your credit, none of that bullshit, because money talks here in America. All we gotta do is give you a couple more dollars and we'll be able to get the, the fucking house that we want or the goddamn lights or whatever the fuck we need credit to get. Give you a couple more dollars, you'll shut the fuck up. So fuck your goddamn free Medicare where you're gonna give us this second class medicine around this motherfucker and keep privatized medicine, you know, on and popping and privatized medical insurance on and popping so we don't give a fuck about that and no to you again we don't give a fuck about the free school at all we gonna make uh, community colleges free guess what it's already free we never paying you back for these fucking debts goddamn we never had an intention on doing that some people actually pay y'all back maybe and if they smart they'll just go through that little process where you could pay y'all ten dollars a month and you're not gonna they not gonna take your whole income tax check see nobody really gives a fuck about that bullshit narrow that'll hold that off to the end of your life you know who worried about that people who went to stanford and yelled and all of that but we don't give a fuck about none of that y'all make sure most of us don't get to that school and if your ears at that school your ass probably well vetted and a straight up coon and a traitor to the whole motherfucking race around this bitch but guess what when it when they finally decided to talk about you blacks the base as they call it look what the question was to bernie sanders why you can't appeal to blacks? And nigga said, uh, I don't know, really, I am getting the young ones, a few of the young ones and shit. Y'all know who that is, the ones who still dumb enough to believe in the process. Tim Black and them, goddamn it, Jamal Thomas and them, they still be up there talking about, uh, my mom and them, you know, they, they worried about their social security, their Medicare, they still won't get that bullshit. All they gotta do is worry about the fake threats from whatever Republican is in office. Y'all don't know how long they've been doing this shit. Bush did it. We might cut it. God damn it. Bush daddy did it. Oh, we might cut that shit right there. Just keeping y'all fucking scared. Are you fucking insane? God damn it. Some of y'all been on this planet way longer than me and you still falling for this? Nixon. Oh, Nixon might cut it. God damn it. Truman. Oh, Truman might cut it and none of them don't cut a motherfucking thing. It's just to keep you scared and keep you giving them the consent to run a public fucking scam around here god damn it so they still worried about that medicare shit my mom and my grandma man get the fuck out of here causing these people shit to plummet right now is the best thing you could ever do for your grandmother 
God damn it, so they could see that a generation finally stood up and said, we ain't having this shit no more. That's the best thing you could do for your grandma and them. And if they do cut all the medicine, God damn it, then guess what? Somebody in the neighborhood gonna have that medicine and you buy that shit for your grandma. God damn it, we'll, we'll burn uh, Walgreens, CVS down, but BTN does not condone violence. This is simply satire around this motherfucker. Man, get the hell out of here, God damn it. But that's the best thing you could do for your grandmother and them is let them know that we said this is the end. This is the revenge for the 60s, the 70s, and even further back what you did to our ancestors. This is it. This is a generation where we decided we not having it no more and we want our generation just fucking do and we want our just fucking do from the past around this motherfucker and we don't care about your feelings we don't care about friends or none of that bullshit if you're not with us you're against us just like you always have been so step the fuck out of the way you understand what i'm saying so that's why it's just them old Fools who Bernie Sanders, not Bernie Sanders, who Joe Biden is a still attracting. The ones from the fucking fraud ass civil rights movement where some a few homosexuals and few uh coons who was money driven got together to sell us out at a fucking million man march around this motherfucker and which was controlled by uh JFK and RFK around this motherfucker. Go look it up or go look through my archives where I go extensively motherfucker. I, when I air them motherfuckers out extensively on this page, go look, check my police record on this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? God damn it. Nobody playing with this bullshit. And Bernie Sanders said, you know, more admittance. You know, this the shit I watch politics for. Because why they so busy fighting with each other, they admit shit. Guess what Bernie Sanders said? It's the billionaires who run this shit. The billionaires control shit. See, when they beefing, they always tell the truth. That's why I like to see when people angry. At me. I like to see the shit that they say. It ain't about the apology they give. It's about the true thoughts that they give when they angered by you, goddamn. You know what? I never could stand your ass, nigga. Yeah, I knew you couldn't, motherfucker. But after that, I'd be like, yeah, man, you know I was just bullshitting. Yeah, motherfucker. I never forget that. I don't really fuck with you like that no more, goddamn. You said that shit and you meant it. And that's how this shit go around here. Y'all understand me, goddamn it. But the first time they talked about you, what would it, what was it about? Dog, why didn't why the black vote ain't fucking with you? And Bernie Sanders ended up saying, "Well, the black vote ain't fucking with him either. He ain't getting them young people. He getting old people. That's what he said in a nutshell. He's still just getting them old people. God damn it! And it's gonna take more than them old people to beat Trump. That's what he said. And go back and watch it. Don't just be sitting here waiting on me to do all the motherfucking work. But guess what? You the base. Remember." You witnessing the rebel network. You the base. You still believe in the political process. But they only talked about you for five measly ass seconds, goddammit. This shit was sponsored by Univision. Have one ever been sponsored by, even though I don't support them, BET? And Bredonna Brazil, that coon right there, she don't cut when y'all just have us sitting right there. She was in the tank for Hillary Clinton. She passing her the notes and shit before the uh, process even take place. Before the debate took place, she handing Hillary shit. And we still ain't vote for her. What the fuck wrong with you around here, bro? It's time to let these people know that we not playing no more, goddammit. We came to take what was rightfully ours. I want my daddy's records. Once again, y'all holler at me.